Hi. So I'm back in Kuwait now. And I have to show you what I got in the mail. Look at this. I got two of them. These are um, obsidian. And they are basically volcanic glass, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, obsidian occurs in volcanic lava flows from a silica rich magma that has come to the surface. Excellent for grounding and protection, wards off negativity, useful for introspection, helps one to see where changes to be made within oneself. I, and that's why I picked them out in um, arrowheads. Because it's. I, I have a really good idea for what kind of ritual I wanted to use with these. I'm not sure how I want to set it up yet. But I had a really good idea when I was back home. And, uh, alas, I didn't have any of these back at home. But here, look again. They're just great. They have such a nice feel to them. They're not heavy, they're. Have a nice sound. I like the sound of them. Anyways, so that's obsidian, volcanic glass, and ingenious silica. Hmm. Pretty cool. And then I got tanzanite, which is one of the high ascension stones for healing. You know, it's it's just small. It's nothing major, but you know, a little of this, just this little bit, can go a long way. That's wonderful blue, purplishness. Um, tanzanite is. According to their little paper, like I said, it's one of the high ascension stones. Protection, safety, perfect symmetry of personal power and actualization. Brings together all aspects of communication and psychic power. Can be used to stimulate visions of higher spiritual realms. In healing, uh, tanzanite has been used to heal misalignment of the spinal column. So I thought that was pretty cool. I picked that one out. I'm actually trying to get all 12 of them. That's what there is, right? 12. Um, so far I have two, so that's where that is. One of my favorite, I like this one, um, that was Tanzanite. And I'm a really big fan of Carnelian, um, it's the form of an agate itself, and it's, um, one that I immediately associate with Apollo because it's, in my opinion, it's technically it's a sunstone. That it's one of those that doesn't need a whole lot of work, but let's see, carnelian is a form of egg, which is said, silicone dioxide, um, perception, precision, increases in physical energy, protection against emotions of fear and anger. Um, notice I've been picking out a lot of stones that are ideally things that I want to work on in my life or things that I need for my own particular work and so I've been picking them out for those properties alone eventually when I start needing them for other healings or oh, that's cool look at that eventually when I need them for other things like healing or properties or for other people I'll I'll pick those ones out or, you know, go from there, but I like the deep orangey red to this one. It's one of my favorites. Um, I always also think of fire when I see this one too. So, um, it's very inexpensive. also got fluorite, which, this came in like a little packet, actually, um, and 
I, I love the colors that are with this one. These ones you want to keep out of the sun, though, because uh, if you don't, they'll fade. Look at that. You want to preserve the color of them, so I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I'm not too entirely sure to re-research a bit, but look at that. usually it's purple and green. This one's the one of the tumbled ones. These other ones are. Uh, rough. They're not polished, they're not anything, they're just pulled out, carved out, and shipped off the way they are. This one's a tumbled polished one. Um, fluorite is um, Calcium fluoride. Small amounts of yttrium and cerium. Let's see. Fluoride occurs in a variety of colors, including colorless green, blue, purple, magenta, pink, yellow, or a combination of several other colors. Um, offers a stabilizing energy, facilitating order, balance, and healing. Excellent for clarity of mind, objectivity, concentration, and meditation. Aids in grasping higher, more abstract concepts and to be discerning as to the truth or reality of a given situation. Balances and cleanses intellectual and physical bodies, strengthens bones and teeth, and is used for dispelling illness in its early stages. And I tend to get sick over here, so I also picked these ones out. Look at them again. Just so great. I especially like this one, this green one. You know, I like purple stones, you know, especially the amethyst, but um, I, I truly enjoy looking at blues and greens, more or less, and, and black. Only because it seems like there's purple everywhere, you know? Uh, amethyst, Quran, Dread, Chrysanthemum, all those different ones. You know, so I like to look hey, at those ones more. Get to the drop this last step. But, um, again, thoroughly enjoy them. Oh, where did that one go? I just lost him. Oh, there it is. It blended in. <laughs> but, um, and you can actually look inside this one. You can actually see the lines. There's cool striations in them. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Hey, sort of can see. They're the darker ones in there. So, oh, there we go. But I'm going to update all these on my website. I just ordered a new book of shadows actually last night, and I'm going to transfer. Like I brought my old one with me. Not my old one, but my the one that I made. Got all sandy on the way over. See, some of you may have. I know Tosh has seen this, but um, this is the one that I had made a long time ago, and it's it's getting older. It's not gonna make it to the third generation. So. <laughs> it it needs to be my work needs to be put into a harder bound copy. And it's really nice. The one that I found was actually um, I put I got it in golden oak wood, and it's expandable, so I can. It's gonna come with paper, thank God. But I mean, uh, it's can be unscrewed and more added to it. So I'm excited about that. It's part of my project on the way back home here. Um, And then, what else did I get? I got a whole bunch of, I got a couple cool books from a friend of mine back home. 
and I've been reading it quite a bit, and there's a lot that I've, it's, I wouldn't say challenging my spiritualism or my choices or whatever you want to say, more or less it's opening them up further, it's bringing about different ideas or other reasons. And the one that I've been reading quite a bit actually is by this woman by Phyllis Karat, um, called The Witch Pact. And uh, Big Mama, I, I strongly suggest you get this one. It, it's just so wonderful. Um, I really enjoy it. Like the just going through it, there's a lot that I didn't even a lot, a lot, even and I, me, I'm a high priest for Apollo and Aphrodite, and there's a lot that I didn't even consider thinking about or that I haven't learned yet, or now that I have learned. Um, you know, it's it's been rather intuitive. Um, I got another one. Where's that one at? Oh, that's Nicholas Sparks. That's when Danny got me. I've seen the movie several times, but um, I never actually sat down and watched or read the book. Cause it annoyed me for a little bit, but I'm going to give it a second chance. I got this one. It's uh, called Dream Magic by Serona Knight. And, you know, there's it's all basic ritual spells and whatnot, but I... Obviously, I can't have a full altar of your style for anything, but this is what I have right now. That right there. You know, that's, that's about it. Which is fine. I've been learning how to use a lot of my own mind. Because, you know, when you start to use your mind, you strengthen the mind more. Um, so I've been looking at dream magic and uh, simply doing rituals completely in my head. Which it actually made them by far more more stronger, more more special to me. Um, so you know, it's it's always it's always been a process. You know, just this whole path is it's a process. It's all learning, and so you know, I enjoy it. Um, even all the things that I've been teaching my classes and my students with online here, it's. I've been learning again myself, so, but anyways, that's the latest, that's the new stuff, so, um, yeah, let me know what you're thinking, any feedback, so, have a great day.